中华民国国歌响起，驻美代表处在双向园举办国庆晚会，挺台湾立场鲜明的美国前国安顾问波顿到场致意。美国众议院议长佩洛西也致函恭贺，表示非常荣幸八月能在台湾重申美国国会对台湾跨越两党两院如钢铁般的支持。驻美代表萧美琴致此表示，美国总统拜登在许多场合表达对台海稳定的支持。President Biden has, on a number of occasions, including at the UN General Assembly for the first time, highlighted his clear support for peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. We have seen that support also reflected in the outreach efforts of the United States with like-minded allies and partners through bilateral summits and G7 statements. 萧美琴表示，美国国会支持美台关系的力道也比以往更强。截至目前，今年美国国会共有七团二十八名议员访台，包括众议院议长佩洛西在内，来自两党和参众两院。不过，萧美琴表示，面对台湾民主和安全持续受到威胁，她的心情沉重。Beyond the daily realities of continuing cyber attacks, political interference, and gray zone intimidation. The People's Liberation Army has recently conducted irresponsible and dangerous activity around the vicinity of Taiwan. Let me reiterate that Taiwan will firmly defend our sovereignty and security. President Tsai has made clear that we will not provoke, and yet we will not submit to coercion. 美国自台协会 A I T 主席莫建 A I T 执行理事蓝营等政要，以及瓜地马拉、巴拉圭及教廷等驻美大使或人员也到场共享盛举。I want to stress that the U S will continue to expand our cooperation with Taiwan on our many shared interests and values. We will support Taiwan's meaningful participation in the international community, and we will deepen our economic ties consistent with our One China policy. In the coming months, as COVID restrictions ease, we will welcome more travel between the U.S. and Taiwan. This will provide opportunities to engage in important negotiations about how to increase the economic benefits of our trading relationship. 驻美代表处今年举办的国庆晚会以台湾传统夜市为主题，不止端出咸酥鸡、挂包卤肉饭、蒸奶巴、波冰淇淋等特色小吃，现场还有套圈圈游戏，吸引宾客来小吃伸手，气氛相当热络。